Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Geekercraft vs. I'm Tigorso, here with Giren, and today we are ready for another battle. Yes, we are. But first, we have to go to Judge. Hey Judge. Judge is going to tell us who won the last battle, which was Battle Throne. That was a pretty close one. I uh, had a couple mistakes in mine. That damn throne not being centered. Oh man, did I ever pay for that. Alright, so let's go. Let us know, Judge. Yes! Tigorso is the winner. Like I said, this was super duper close. And boop! It is now two to one. It was really, really close. I mean, a lot of... Everyone was pretty much kind of torn. They liked Giren's. They liked mine, but I had some major flaws, specifically the throne. The throne was not done very well, and it was off-center, and I didn't realize it. I went back later and looked at it, and I was like, oh my god, it's so off-center. <laughs> um, so, we are going to find out about today's battle, which is Battle Garden. Alright, so let's read about Battle Garden. What would your ideal garden what would be your ideal garden paradise? Build a garden using as much of the battlefield as possible. Okay, we're gonna have a creative battle, 30 minutes, and each garden must contain a lighting and water feature. Alright. Awesome. Go ahead and put that back. Thank you, Judge. We will see you a little later. Alright, so this is our sort of swatch for today's battle. We have water and we have a redstone lamp that's what that's called redstone lamp um there are not going to be any required blocks except for these two uh oops <laughs> uh they're not <laughs> there's not gonna be any required blocks except for for these two things <laughs> gear beats me um so you gotta have some sort of lighting fixture. It doesn't necessarily have to be lamps. Um, and there has to be some sort of water, whether it be a water fountain or a, a pond or something. Um, the battlefield rules for this are going to be a little bit lax. Um, as long as we're not on the steps, we're within the boundaries of the steps, um, we can go deeper if we do uh, determine that we need to go deeper. Um, so we're going to pull a little bit of an inception and... Uh, so that's that's perfectly within the bounds of the rules that we've set for uh, this battle. So I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. I have sort of an idea. But one of the things we did have to do is because we are going to be using grass and things like that, we actually had to change the biome. So we had to use a little bit of uh, uh, editing magic to uh, get the biome changed from a desert. Um, so we will have beautiful grass. Yes, indeed. Love that grass. Okay, you ready, Bear? All right, we're ready. And let's start in three, two, one, go! All right, I need to start right off right here. One of the things that um, I definitely need to do, ooh, geez, um, I need to adjust my volume first off. This is a little bit loud for me. Ah, uh, there we go. Um, definitely need to watch the, uh, the use of filling in times because with uh the oops crap uh with the throne battle um one of the things that i had problems with was uh the amount of space that i had to fill in i didn't uh properly understand how much time it was going to take so this time i am going to make sure that i hurry up as quick as possible to get most of this stuff done. Um, definitely don't want to spend too much time uh, filling this stuff in because it can take quite a while. And with just 30 minutes to, to go, definitely something you don't want to dilly-dally on. Got to get this stuff filled in. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to try and fill this in as much as possible. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and then we're gonna remove uh, things as I normally do, 
Uh, we're going to remove things for like the water feature. And I think um, I have an idea for what I'm going to do uh, for lamps. So once I get this filled in, we'll put all of our uh, materials that I'll need uh, on the hot bar and then we'll start uh, building in and filling everything. Uh, kind of have an idea what I want to do, not too clear yet, so we'll just have to see how it goes. Um, but one of the things that um, Giren asked me uh, the other day was, what would I do if I had my own server to use? Because uh, this is something we, we talk about occasionally, uh, but we haven't talked about it in a while uh, since, you know, since we've had, you know, a good amount of growth and you know, we've got, you know, uh, people we talk to on a regular basis. And, uh, you know, pretty much what I would think that I would do is I would mainly have it for, uh, <laughs> like, special things. Like, if I want to hold, like, an event or something like that, uh, that's what I would use it for. Um, like, you guys know how crazy I am about uh, Ultra Hardcore. Um, if I was going to have, like, a special, like... Uh, uh, fan edition with and, and invite a bunch of people to play uh, ultra hardcore uh, with me and Garen. Uh, that's something I would use that for. Um, I don't think that I would have like uh, my own server that I would you know have a bunch of people on. I don't think that I'm really up for that challenge because it's it's sort of a lot of work uh, unless you know there are pretty awesome people on there which I know a lot of awesome people so all right very good all right so let's go ahead and get rid of that get rid of that and I need uh, let's do some of these and some of these and start on the outside here so I need to decide which one I like better um, all right so I'm gonna go through and do a couple of these mossy ones every so often um but you know it's just not really something that uh i would probably be interested in uh too much but you know i would hold it for you know mainly like utility use you know because one of the things that we have uh going on is we have you know a lot of builds we have you know other servers that we play on oh crap uh and things like that so you know, it's like having another server would be sort of like, you know, oh, it's, it's it's another it's another thing we have to sort of keep up on. And it's kind of hard, you know, because we do spend a lot of time. All right, so now we need to do foliage. All right, I need these. And some B-O-N bone meal. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on this. Uh, one of the things that if I had a garden, I would have is definitely lots and lots of really tall uh, trees. I would probably have it so thickly uh, treed that it would probably count as, as like a mini forest or, or like a mini rainforest or something like that. So I'm going to be doing, oops move this one out um there we go it's working out pretty good all right so um so yeah so i would probably have it for like uh um okay we're on peaceful i could have swore i heard a zombie um you know maybe like if we were gonna have like a like a challenge map or um you know like a like a pvp map or something like that uh or you know ultra hardcore i would use it for like special events um, and, you know, just special events. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Now let's go ahead and remove this stuff here. Let's get, uh, there we go. And a little bit of sand. Um, ooh, lag. That was interesting. Um, so yeah, so I I don't really think that, that if I had 
a server, I would, you know, play on it all that much. I don't know. It's some it's something that, you know, we've talked about quite often and a lot of people seem to like the idea, but I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm just a stick in the mud. That's what that's that's me. I'm a stick in the mud, Tigorso. Alright, I need to replace that. So we are gonna make a little bit of a flowy thing through here. I definitely would want a walkway going in, and then we'll just end it over here. There we go. And fill it in with water. La, 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 lots of water. Spamming water. Beautiful. All right. And let's see here. I want to make this a little bit more. There we go, like that. Awesome. And all right. So I sort of want to have a like a bridge thing going on here, but it's sort of it's sort of difficult. Let's go ahead and let's build it out of cobble. There we go. Um, no, this isn't working. I'm gonna need cobble stairs. There we go. Oh man. Nope, got to go in a different spot. This is not working out. Oh man, the placement, the placement on this, on this river is not going well for my uh, thing uh, from a bridge. So let's let's go ahead and go like this. This should work better. And here we go. Um, no. All right. I'm having a little bit of a hard time visualizing how I want this thing to appear. All right. This works. This works. I'm liking this. And then I can put some railings on it. I think that'll look good. All right. Beautiful. All right. Awesome. Okay. So, yeah, so that's just something that Garen uh, talked to me about. And uh, it's something that I honestly think about uh, quite a bit, you know, because one of the things that I want is I want to have, um, uh, I want to have a place where I can play with people. But I realize that, you know, I am a terrible manager of time and I would just it would be hard for me because I'd want to play I, I have a I have a tendency to want to just do one thing and I hardly ever uh, want to do anything else I'm re I'm actually really bad about that doing uh, uh, doing things that I'm supposed to be doing versus things that I want to do so I try not to give myself too much of a reason to, uh, uh, how do I want to say this? Oh no, don't connect. Oh well, I'm just going to have to do, uh, to not do the things I'm supposed to do. That's a really bad excuse, but it's the truth. There we go. All right. So we got a little bridge. Let's go ahead and... Replace some of this, oops, um, with gravel. Definitely feeling the gravel on this. I know I'm saying that weird. Don't judge me. I like the gravel pathways. Those look good. And then let's go ahead and do this. No, replace it. Um, And then this one will be kind of like a broken gravel path. Oh my gosh, we have less than, uh, we have about 
12 minutes have gone by. There's 18 minutes left in the battle, about 18 and a half minutes. Oh, jeez. Talking too much. There we go. That looks good. All right. Now we need some... I need those fences back. What the heck are those fences? There they are. Let's do the regular cobble ones. And... There we go. Um... Uh, let's do glowstone. How about glowstone? And a boop. There we go. Wonderful little two, three. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go four up and then over. And then there we go. That's what that's what I did here. Yeah. Alright, cool. Alright. So this will be a fantastic uh, little addition to the bridge here, I'm thinking. I think this will be awesome. You see what I'm going to do here? And boop. There we go. Ah, oh, it's, like it's like a little entryway. In fact, I think I'm going to remove this and I'm going to replace it with another one of these. And I think that'll look really good. Four, right? Yep. One, two, three, four. So yeah. But one of the things that uh, I definitely want to do sometime is ultra hardcore. Definitely. And uh, I saw that uh, the Monster Bear guys actually did a uh, ultra hardcore um, the other day, and I was like, I was like, oh no, I missed it. <laughs> I don't know how long they had to have that set up. So I wasn't I wasn't too I wasn't too upset about it. Actually, I wasn't upset at all. I was just like, oh, that sucks. Oh well, I got over it really <laughs> within like ten seconds. But I will, I will do. And now that we're on there, we actually need to uh, get on there and uh, and play some. Let's go ahead and thin this, trim the grass here a little bit. Um, we actually need to play on there a little bit more we haven't gone on there actually you know come to think of it that that would actually be uh because talking about that actually made me think of something uh that i would do um on uh the monster bear server which is like a massive build that's what i'm planning uh for that i'm planning on doing something really really uh big um oh come on i need something I need something. Okay, it's going to have to be these. And I don't know how I feel about this using these stone fences for what I'm doing right now. But we're just going to have to see how this looks. There we go. Actually, that you know that doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm not feeling this the stone fences though. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use just regular fences, and we'll see how that works. Cause I'm feeling the I'm feeling how this looks, but not the material that I chose. So we're gonna go with something a little bit more organic. That you would actually see in uh, a lighting situation, <laughs> you know, no, nobody's gonna hang uh, stone from the from the sky. So, all right, there we go. Um, but actually, one of the things that um, I want to do on Monster Server, like I said, is 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 a really massive uh, build. So. What I actually would probably do on if I had like my own server is I would probably create like a project, like design a project that a lot of people would be working on and um, have it so that they, everybody, you know, pitched in and helped uh, on the build and, you know, something, something like really, really massive, you know, like like hundreds or even thousands of blocks uh in you know diameter you know something something really big and uh 
you know, I, I think that would be that would be a fantastic um, that would be something fantastic to do uh, in that sort of uh, situation. Let's see. I, I need to remove that. So let's see here. No, this goes like this. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's just alternate back and forth here and head over towards this tree. Oops. Um, but that would actually be something something really cool because there there comes times when you have uh, big ideas that are just a little too big <laughs> for um, uh, for yourself. So you need you need some help, and having like a bunch of people that you can. Uh, have on to help you out is something that you know would be really really cool. Ooh, you know what I want to do? I want to incorporate pumpkins into this or lanterns. Hell yeah! Let's put some of these things up here. So that way we'll get like this pretty little. Uh, come on. There we go. Apparently you can't place these on leaves. Interesting. It's not. Not something that I I knew. I'm sure Garen did, of course, but I didn't know that. But I really want to have this to have for this uh, garden to be really bright. It's one of the things that that I like is I like a, a really well lit, lots of uh, features, lots of really nice things. Um, I think if I have time, I may add in uh, I may add in a a, a fountain. All right, that looks good. And put it like right here. I think I actually am going to do that right now. All right. Um, but yeah, massive builds are something that I, I really enjoy. And like like how we did the, um, uh, the chicken farm thing, uh, which is actually going swimmingly I am very, very happy with how that's uh, turning out. That video has a literal crap ton of views, and a lot of people have uh, helped us out um, with uh, that design, given us some ideas, and we've come up with you know a few different uh, configurations uh, for it. So I'm really, really happy with uh, with how it's come out. So uh, we will be uh, doing more stuff uh, with that. Uh, coming up here pretty soon. All right, so let's go ahead and let's try and see if we can control how this water will flow. All right, so let's do this. All right, and no. I want you, there we go. Awesome. Very nice, very nice. All right, I think, yeah. This is gonna have to stay like that. Otherwise the water is gonna update. Okay, there we go. Oops. There we go. All right, now let's go ahead and let's do some lighting. Now I want these facing like this. Like that and like that. There we go. And uh, let's do something with lamps. I'm sorry guys, I'm like so distracted right now. I'm actually, I'm actually just getting over being sick. <laughs> so my brain is like completely like shot. My sinuses, excuses I know, my sinuses are all like blah. There we go, beautiful. All right. I like that, I like that. I think I wanna fill this in with something. We have less than, uh, 10 minutes left. We have eight minutes to go. Um, 
gosh, gosh, come on. I need a, I need a good block. Give me something good. Um, there's too, there's too much green going on here. So I need sort of like, sort of like a pop color. The orange is a little too much. Let's do, let's do watermelon. I, no. Oh shoot. I didn't want that. Um, all right. So this is cobblestone right now. Um, I want, I'm thinking I want to replace this with, well, uh, yeah, let's do, let's do, let's see what diamond ore looks like. Hey, you know what? That's not too bad. Um, let's do gold ore for this one. And it'll be sort of like a, like a jeweled. Uh, fountain and then for the top part here let's do redstone yeah there we go that's not so bad all right and let's see here let's see if I can do if I can actually change, I can. There we go. Awesome. And then let's do this down here as well. There we go. Um, I'm not feeling these things now that the redstone is up here. I think the, the ores did, um, the work for giving it that pop it needs and i don't think it needs those anymore all right let's see we got just about five minutes left here um where the hell does cow come from what okay i, I got cows did did that bear leave me cows where the hell did those cows come from <laughs> Does, does that even happen? I know it used to, but oh man, that's that's weird. All right. We're going to do a little bit of a different configuration on this one over here. There we go. And I need my glue stone. Bingo. There we go. Wonderful. All right. And let's see here. I don't think so. I've I've got pretty much everything. I've got a little I've got a little bridge. Got a little bridge to walk over the lake. I got a fountain. I've got my like sort of a uh, lantern looking things. I actually think um I'm going to remove these and I'm going to replace them with um redstone lamps. Because, ooh, they actually connect. That actually might work out better, looks-wise. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and put it up here so it's harder to see. There we go. Didn't know that the fences would actually connect with those. These, you know what? I'm going to want to change these, too. Oh, man, this is going to make it, it's going to make it difficult. I wonder, can I... No, I cannot. Nope, nope, nope. Looks bad, looks bad. All right, there we go. All right. So we got just four minutes left here. I think I have enough time. I'm not actually crushed for time this time, so uh, that's actually pretty good. I wonder if in the next five minutes I can build uh, a gazebo. Let's go for it. Let's branch out here. Let's go crazy. All right. 
I hate grass. <laughs> it's like one of my banes when, when placing blocks. All right, so let's go ahead and let's do a different color. Let's do a jungle wood um, for the actual floor color. Uh, one of the things I like uh, when using um, wood is to, to mix and match um, the colors. Um, that's going to have to be broken. All right, let's do stairs. No, right side upstairs, please. Oh, man, this isn't working at all. All right. I think I picked a bad spot. There we go. All right, let's see about getting this put in here. Nope, that's not what I want. No B. Um, okay. There we go. Man, stairs are hard to place on half slabs. Okay, I am, you know what, honestly, I am not feeling this. Actually, you know what? I might be feeling it a little bit more now. Just cut these, uh, these things down to size. Just cut them down one and I think that'll be That'll be sufficient. There we go. All right, this is, I'm feeling better about this. I'm feeling better about this. I'm actually sort of a little worried right now. It's my design. Yo. Hey, you guys, there we go. And let's put in some lighting. There we go. There we go. Well, it's not very tall. I'm not really feeling the lighting right there. Um, maybe here on the floor would be better. Um, let's do pumpkins. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Nice pumpkins. All right, and let's go ahead and put in, you can't have a, a gazebo without a couch. So let's just go ahead and put in a little couch here so that people can chill and I need signs. There we go. No. There we go. Got a little couch and everything. All right. And three, two, one, time. Whew. Wow. All right. So last minute gazebo idea probably would have been better somewhere else. Um, yeah, let's see what the bear did. Oh, wow. Jeez. Oh, look at the beacon. Look at this thing. I love these things. I love the laser. I love the laser shooting out of this thing. I love this sort of like little area right here. <laughs> art is pain. It's the art wall. It's the external art wall. For Yeah, some parks have a, have a gallery. Oh, lily pads. Oh, I wanted... I should have thought of that. That was a really good addition. And then you got your little thing here. Your little... Aw. Well, you get points for creativity with your fish. And then you got a couple little benches. See, you did yours more as a park, right? Yeah, see, I did mine as more of like a private garden. So... 
again, and that's and that's one of the reasons why I love doing these versus things is because we each have a sort of different idea of how we would do the same given the same task how we would do things differently like Giran made a park for people i made a uh something of solitude this is something where somebody would come in like in their backyard this would be a crazy ass backyard but you know it would be a backyard where somebody could come in and you know hang out at their gazebo relax with their beautiful water feature and uh you know just relax it's, it's covered with shade so it gets you know trees so it gets shade all the time oh you know what you be quiet you bear I beat you with my sign gozista on you i should have replaced it uh that's definitely that's definitely one of the things i would change having thought of it now I do. I like the trees too. I think they grew in a really nice pattern. I like the uh, the. Um, actually, can you can you change it to night for me real quick? Because I want to see what it looks like uh, at night. So there you go. So this is what it looks like at night. Pretty well lit, and then you've got lighting up in the trees to give you just sort of like a, a spot lighting, and then you can look out in the stars outside of your backyard yay skids Giran has skids love those squids they're so cute all right so that's it for this battle it's another one for the books and mystery cows so we're gonna give you guys one last little tour this is my backyard private secluded a uh, rich person getaway, and this is Girin's Park of Commoner Relaxation. Actually, that sounds really mean. I'm a jerk. <laughs> Girin's gonna agree. Oh, I know, I'm so mean. See, I told you. All right. So, that's gonna be it for this episode. You get to choose between squid and cows. And apparently bats. Alright. <laughs> and pigeons. Well, I think you're pandering to one certain person. But I don't think she watches our videos. So, anyways. So, uh, remember guys, there's going to be uh, two comments down in the comment section. Uh, upvote the ones that you agree with. Either I won, Tigorso won. Or gear in one, and then we will uh, tally them up next time we do a versus. So, I hope you guys all vote, and I hope we have another close battle. I love it when it's close, don't you? Alright, so that's going to be it for this battle, and we will see you next time. Take care.